Today's episode, we're going to take you to Astoria, the largest Greek community outside of Greece. Something special about Queens. Queens. I'm born and raised in Queens. I've lived here my entire life in a few different neighborhoods. And what's special about Astoria is that I've spent half of my life here. 16, first 16 years of my life were spent in Astoria. I'm half Greek, so this episode is very special to me. And I'm very excited to show you this neighborhood. The thing is about Astoria is that it's becoming a much more popular neighborhood because it's so close to the city. So the neighborhood has changed a lot since I grew up here. I left this neighborhood about 15 years ago and around then is when it started to change. So you still have the Greek influence here. You see this old school Greek fish market, Astoria Fishery, is now for lease, sadly. It was there since 1974. So there's old school Greek social clubs like this one right here. I believe it's for the Pontic Greeks Society. Lots of Papu is in there. Papu is grandfather for those who don't know in Greek. I'm a terrible Greek when it comes to the language. Sadly, I don't speak nearly as much as I should. I know a couple choice words and uh, I know food, a couple curse words, a couple important atikanis, a couple things. Our first stop today is going to be for some Fredo Cappuccino. Found a great spot right here, it's called Coffee Pot. So Coffee Pot will be our first stop for Fredo Cappuccino. Let's drink. Need that coffee in my life. Uh, How many sugars? Just another. One sugar? One sugar. Half sugar. Half sugar cinnamon, right? Yes. Okay. So the freddo is espresso on the bottom, whipped milk on top. Coffee is dark, very creamy white milk right there. It's kind of a caramelly color. So it's basically, it's an iced cappuccino. They call it a freddo cappuccino. Now we mix it up. Take a sip. It's so refreshing. You can really taste the espresso. It gives it that heavy coffee flavor. And the whipped milk is creamy, but it's not overly creamy. It doesn't taste like too milky. And the cinnamon adds a nice dimension to it. I only ask for it with half sugar. I don't like coffee too sweet. You can taste more of the actual flavor of the coffee. This takes me back to that first time of trying Fredo Cappuccino in Athens, overlooking the Acropolis with my cousin. Second stop is called Tolaiko. It's this tiny little hole in the wall. It's literally called the little coffee shop. They specialize in Greek pies like spanakopita, like spinach pie. They have other big goods here. So let's see what they have. Hello. Hello. 5.50. All right. Let's check out our bounty from Tolaiko. Got a couple different big goods here. We have kuluri like a sesame bread. You see these on the streets of Athens a lot. These are actually very similar in Turkey as well. It's simit, a round dough ring with sesame seeds. Let's take a bite of this kuluri. Look how big of the hole. <laughs> Pretty airy, it's light. So many sesame seeds, slightly toasted. Mm. So if you love sesame, you would love this. We have here, we have a pie. It's actually more than just a spanakopita. So a spanakopita is a spinach pie. This one actually has spinach, leek, and zucchini. And there's some cheese in there. It's very warm and crispy. Look how flaky it is from the filo. There's a nice combo of the spinach, zucchini, and leek. So the zucchini gives it a little crispiness. There's a very nice dill flavor in here, and then the cheese has that creamy element. It's crispy on this side. This side's a little softer and lighter. So when you bite in, you get the crunch from here. Mm. It's cheesy, it's a little earthy. 
this bottom part is actually very soft. Mmm. You got a nice blend of all three. A little dill in there too. Excellent. Right here is Agora Plaza. So Agora in Greek means like a marketplace, outdoor marketplace. So right here is a Greek shopping center. It's a pharmakeo, that's a pharmacy. Olympia Chemist, so there's a lot of the Greek names in there. Very famous Greek pastry shop, Artapolis. They're well known for their baklava, galata burico, and cookies. It's a good place. And we have Omega Wine and Spirits. You can get a lot of Greek wines here, which is not as easy to find here in New York. Mestia is kind of like a licorice taste. It's a little bit, yeah. It's it's, made, it's like a, a sap. It's from mastika trees, which are found in the island of Hios, which is very close to Turkey. And they also make spirits out of it. They use it in sweets. It does have kind of a licorice. licorice y piney taste to it. It works well in this, though. south into Astoria. Our next stop is going to be Titan Supermarket. It's a famous Greek supermarket that has all types of hot food, ingredients, olive oils, feta, olive, all types. Anything you can think of Greek, they probably have. Here's our third stop of the day, Titan Foods, Greek supermarket. Let's see what they have inside. I'm pretty thirsty. I'm probably gonna get some Greek seltzer, maybe something else. Maybe we'll grab some stuff to take home. And if you look close at the windows, they have the little shutters that are common in Greece on the windows. What we saw before we even step in the store is this. This is used to roast lamb over the spit. It's stuck, I can't rotate it. So they put the whole lamb on the spit. Greek Easter. Okay, it's all good. I think I'm buying getting this for my Commonly, I've had it in Greece in these glass bottles. This is the plain one. This is actually a lemon. Got a lot of interesting things here. Mastika infused sparkling water, which we're gonna try out. Buzo soda. No booze, of course. Mix. My favorite Greek beer. So these are used for dakos. It's a Cretan specialty. It's uh, dry barley rusks. They usually wet them, top it with olive oil, feta cheese, tomato and parsley. This is from Crete. There's the outline of Crete right there. Oh, yeah. Assembly for butter. I like Crete a lot. There's a monastery. The monastery. It is, yeah. So what other islands have you been to? Uh, Crete. Crete. Uh, Santorini. Kos. 
Oh, the biggest. The, the, yeah, Rodos. Yeah. Pete's my favorite. Mastiqua. This is gonna be interesting. Digestion soother. Could definitely use that the way we eat. Let's try it out. Nice bottle. Mmm. Really intense mastica flavor. You can smell it. Wow. It's really good though. This is actually perfect for digestion. Heard people say. Opa. Opa. When he break a glass or something. Opa. Opa. Old school Astoria joint. Opa, Opa. It wasn't always this location. 1969. It was at a different location before, but it's been here for a while too. Then right next door, we have Yaya's Bakery. Well, this is gonna be stop number four, Yaya's Bakery. We're gonna get some sweets. Hello. Yes. Uh, one piece, a That's it. We're here at Athens Square Park in Astoria. It's influenced heavily by Greek culture. Uh, statues of Sophocles, uh, Socrates, Aristotle. You can see the smoke in the background. There's a long line. That can only mean one thing. It's time for the king. King Sublaki. You got a platter with fries. Fries here are very special. They still have the skin on them and they're fried in extra virgin olive oil. Gives it such a nice difference of flavor. Then they sprinkle some dried oregano on top. So we have some tzatziki here, nice and creamy. And we have a mix of pork gyro, pork souvlaki. It's a great platter. Let's try the fry. Absolutely. The skin on potato makes all the difference in that olive oil. Mm. Cafe Bullies. They're known for their lucumades, like Greek donuts. They fry them fresh to order. They're awesome. Let's eat more. Six top of the day for dessert, Cafe Bullies. Long time favorite of ours. Other small uh, traditional lucumades? Yes. <laughs> Freshly made, they're hot. You saw them. She was just churning them out fresh. It's so good. Just the traditional way to have it with honey, with cinnamon. It's delicious. These, they're not normally in this shape. Usually they're shaped like balls, but here they do it more like a donut. Next stop is Frankie Souvlaki. It's an old school joint on Steinway that sells souvlaki and gyro. It used to be a cart. I used to go here as a kid and get souvlaki on the stick with the hunk of bread on top. What's awesome about Frankie's is that they have been nominated for the Vendi Cup at this year's Vendi Awards, which honors the best street food vendors in New York City. So it's a well-deserved nomination for Frankie's. They've been doing this for almost 40 years now. I used to come here when I was a little kid shopping on Steinway. They were just a small cart. Used to get that souvlaki with the lemon and that hunk of bread on top. It was so good. It's gonna be great to come back and have it again. Let's do it. Yes. How you doing? Can you get uh, one lamb stick, please? Any sauce on it? Uh, no, just lemon and salt, please. And we have oregano, too, right? This takes me back to the childhood right here. It's the grilled souvlaki with the hunk of bread on top, absorbing all those juices. It's the key. You gotta kind of soak it. That. 
thing is we got lamb souvlaki. Lamb souvlaki is not as common at these carts and trucks. Like at the king souvlaki, they don't have lamb souvlaki. It's rare. That's one of the benefits of this spot. Mm, very juicy. Lamb flavor is there, but it doesn't overwhelm. It's not that gamey lamb flavor. It's really good. It's got these crispy edges on the side too. Very tasty. Childhood. So happy to see them going strong still. They get nominated for a well-deserved award. It's excellent. They, they so deserve it. On to our last stop. Switching camera. We are here outside of the Pan Cohen Society. This place means a lot to me because the island of Kos is what this uh, social club represents. The island of Kos is very close to where my family is from in Greece. So for years I passed by this, had no idea you know, what goes on here. It's like one of those private members only clubs. But recently we found out that the restaurant is open to the public. And we came here one night, had an amazing meal, and we had to come back again. Think of a better way to end this video than to eat at this awesome hidden restaurant time to feast. We're gonna get some seafood in our system here. The last stop. We have our octopodi, grilled octopus, olive oil, vinaigrette, and oregano. Made with wine. It's one of the most underrated sausages in the world. For being all the way real, it's a must order. These two are must orders every Greek restaurant we go to. Let's cut some of this Luganico. Mm. There's so much flavor in there. Tastes like some red wine, some leek in there. It is just so fresh, so well grilled. It's not overly cooked, it's cooked perfectly. Lots of dried oregano on top. With some onion, that leek. Leek adds so much nice flavor. Now it's time for some octopus. We got the octopodi here, whole tentacle. Nicely got some char here, but not overly grilled. Get right in there. So tender, so juicy. Let's sop up some of that olive oil vinegar. Tastes a lot like the motherland. Transport me back to the islands. Excellent octopus. Third, we chose watermelon. Very refreshing, especially in that hot island heat. Mm. More dessert. We got the Galata Burico from Yaya's Bakery earlier. Creamy custard, the filo on top. Fluffy. That's my favorite dessert, Greek dessert. Yep. Once we started dating, I introduced it to you. You were never the same. <laughs> Your custard, you think it's gonna be something overly creamy, dairy? It's not. This one, it has that creaminess, but it's muted. Oh, it is so good. Mm. 